Hi guys again, in a new video from your channel New Cars Technology. I'm Henri and today's video is about the all-new Mercedes E-Class. The E-Class sedan offers executive transportation with a uniquely Mercedes-Benz attitude. With nearly as much elegance and substance as the S-Class flagship but a somewhat less commanding profile, E350 models are powered by a turbocharged 2.0-liter four-cylinder power plant with 255 horsepower while E450S are powered by a turbocharged 3.0-liter inline-six with 375 horsepower. All-wheel drive is standard, and all variants are luxuriously outfitted with a plethora of driver assistance and infotainment systems. Other European competitors, such as the Audi A6 and the BMW 5 Series, provide comparable space and equipment, but neither brand has the prestige that comes with a Mercedes-Benz badge. This year sees the launch of an entirely new generation of the E-Class sedan, which has been completely revamped from the ground up and features more technology and elegance than the previous model. This year, the four- and six-cylinder powertrains have gotten hybrid assistance, resulting in increased power, and the exterior appearance has been updated. Inside, a slew of new technology features dot the cabin, which is supposed to be even more comfortable than the one before it. The 2024 E-Class is expected to arrive in dealer showrooms by the end of 2023. Pricing and choosing which one to purchase, premium, exclusive, and pinnacle are the three levels of luxury. When combined with the two possible powertrains, the E-Class has a six-trim lineup with a wide range of costs to appeal to a wide range of luxury sedan buyers. E350 Premium trim cost $60,000, E350 Exclusive will cost you $63,000, E450 Premium trim cost $67,000, E350 Pinnacle cost $69,000, and E450 Exclusive will cost you $71,000, the E450 Pinnacle cost $74,000. The E350's scalloped hood conceals a turbocharged 2.0-liter four-cylinder engine mated to a 23-horsepower electric motor, for a total of 255 horsepower. The turbocharged 3.0-liter inline-six in the E450 variant receives a similar hybrid arrangement, bringing the total to 375 horsepower. The hybrid systems are intended to eliminate turbo lag and let the auto start slash stop system run more smoothly. Acceleration may benefit as well, though we're not sure how much. Optional adjustable air suspension substitutes the conventional steel spring structure. A rear wheel steering system is also available and is believed to improve agility in small situations. Before completing the video, I invite you to subscribe to the channel and activate the bell to receive all that is new and exclusive in the automotive world. The cabin of the E-Class, unsurprisingly it prioritizes comfort and luxury. In the video, passenger space appears to be ample, and the inside is adorned with opulent materials such as leather upholstery and metal detailing. Overall, the design is high-end and complements the car's attractive exterior style. Although the E-Class has previously been available as a coupe and a convertible, we anticipate that this generation will only be available as a four-door sedan. The interior of the E-Class features a lot of integrated technology, and owners who want it can choose a dashboard with three distinct displays. We think it's a touch much, so we'd stick with the regular setup. It has a digital gauge display behind the steering wheel and a separate infotainment screen in the center of the dashboard. Mercedes-Benz has included some clever or cringeworthy, depending on your point of view features, such as a selfie camera and downloadable third-party apps from TikTok, Angry Birds, and Zoom. There is in-dash navigation, which includes an augmented reality technology that overlays directions onto the road, ahead via a head-up display. Although it comes standard with several driver assists such as automated emergency braking and blind spot, monitoring most other equipment costs extra, including adaptive cruise control with lane centering. Write in the comments about the cars you would like to talk about in the upcoming videos. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.